Just you are gonna learn about continual work with brackets and we're gonna learn about special products and he has the special products now in bare constants now you can even go at expanding these brackets yourself and coming up with the rules yourself so if you want to do that pause the video now and have a go I'm gonna work these out for you now and you'll see how well you did so all I'm gonna do is multiply out these brackets and get an x squared and get a plus y minus x term by multiplying these and I multiply these and I get a minus y x term and then the plus y and the minus y I get a minus y squared term and notice that these cancel because that's a plus y x and a minus y x but normally you write x y but they cancel so it doesn't matter and then I get x squared minus y squared so there's your general rule for that one this next one here we get e x squared because we're squared at a and we're squared at x so I should really write that as that it seems better and now we get a plus term and a minus term again you can see that when we expand these out so I'm not going to bother writing that in and then we get minus b y squared so remember we're squaring the b but we generally just not put these extra powers in because we know how to square numbers anyway it's easy then I've got x plus b squared and now remember that's the same as that so when I multiply this out I get x squared I get a plus bx and another plus bx and I get a plus b squared so I can write that as x squared plus 2bx squared plus b squared so that's what answer x squared plus 2bx Now this is basically the same one but we've got a minus here so we know what happens. We're going to get the same but we're going to get a minus bx and another minus bx. And we've got an x times an x at the front so that's x squared. We're going to get two minus bx's so we're going to get two bx. And then minus b times minus b is plus b. Is plus b. So we'll get plus b squared. Now next one here, I'm going to write this one out in full. I've got a constant at the front, a this time. That's the diff main difference here. So I'm going to do ax times ax. That's ax squared. Remember, a is just a constant, so you just square that number. And then I get a plus e b x term because I'm times in these and then I get another one of them when I times these and I get a plus b squared and then of course we've got two of them so we've got two e b x plus b squared And again, this is basically the same, but we'll have this minus in the middle instead. So, there are your formulas. I've worked them out for you now. I've got some examples over here. So, again, you can pause the video and have a go at these examples. We're just using the 
rules we've um, come up with over here. So notice that this one's the same form as that. So we're going to have this x term minus this y term. So I'm going to get this x term first term squared. I'm going to square this other number and put a minus sign in front. So I get minus 25. So that's the answer to the first one. In fact, I put numbers next to them. And then I put numbers here next to the answer, so that's answer for number one. Right, and here's our next one now. Now this is the same, but we've got these extra numbers, so this time I get 9x squared minus 49y squared. So that's the answer for problem number two. This one here, well, this time I'm going to use this formula. And as I square the first term, so I get x squared. And then it says I take 2 times this number here, b, and multiply that by x, so I get 14x. And it says I square this last constant, so I get 49, so that's answer to problem number 3. And this next one here, it says I square the first term, I get 4x squared, and then it says I do this. Um, here, two, 4 times 2x, which is 8x, and then I times that by 2 because I get 2 lots of them, so then I get 16x, and then I square this constant term at the end, so that's a plus 16. And this one here is a similar to problem number 3 up here, but with the minus sign. So I square the first term, I get x squared, I'm using this rule here. And then, again, this time it says we get the minus sign, so I've got minus 6 times x, which is minus 6x, and I multiply that by 2, so I get minus 12x, and I square this term. And remember, minus 6 times minus 6 is 36. And finally, problem number six. I square this first term here. Three x times three x is nine x squared. And here I've got minus two times three x. That's six x. I get two lots of them again. So times this minus six x by two. And I get minus twelve x. Again. And then I square the last term here, minus 2. So minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. And those are your answers to the examples there. So all I've done here is use these rules. Because look, the rules tell you what to do. These are the general rules and you just apply the appropriate rules by looking to see which one they look similar to and we use them to expand brackets quicker instead of writing them all out in full and doing all the simplifying when it's a special product and we don't really have to go through all the work so that's why I've taught you this